Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today, guys, we're in Medieval Engineers, and we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're going to be putting the Barbarians to work, and we're also going to be looking at ways of trapping them. I don't know about in the future if Barbarians will just attack us in waves, or you'll be able to capture them, disarm them, and then put them to work for yourself like little minions, but we'll, we'll have to show. So we've got a basic cart here. Now, these carts, as we know, can be powered by us. So I thought, what about powering them by barbarians? So at the moment we can't disarm the barbarians, so we can do the next best thing. We can go to bots and we can use the attack here icon to tell them to follow us. So for this first test, what we're going to do is we're going to stick some barbarians in the loop of this car and just see if they will pull it. Now I'm going to drop that in there and drop the attack here icon and use that as a way of telling them. So we're going to drop a few in, press that once, drop to the ground, and see if these barbarians will start following us, pulling our little cart along. And it seems to be working at the moment. Let's try doing a turn and see if they continue to follow us. So it seems like they're still turning and following us. Now if we sprint away from them a little bit, will they continue to follow us? So that's perfect. We could get these guys, like horses, to pull our carts and supplies around with us. The only problem is that they're armed, and if we get a little bit too close to them, they will get a little bit pissed. And they will start breaking out of that car, as you can see. Anyway, I'll tell them to uh, attack again and follow me. But the problem is, if we don't get too close to them, we can use them to pull this car around all day. Now, let's move on and have a look at some different ways of trying to utilize these barbarians as tools. So, the next way I thought of trying to train my barbarians would to use the carrot on sort of a stick approach. So, we've got this rotating platform here. I'm just going to stop this for the moment. If we can hop on top. And the idea is we're going to stick a statue on top of here and we're going to get it to follow up them around with the cart. So we just need to make it rotate in front of the cart. The only problem I noticed with this was they do lose a little bit of attention span after a while of trying to get the statue. So we've got that there. We've got a 9 and we're just going to get a J up and then we'll just slide the statue into position on the actual ramp. So we can just give it a step away. And there we go. Now that is on that platform and we can begin spinning then all we have to do now is drop one of these guys into position and we'll see if he actually follows it around with the car so the car is just low enough to avoid that you have to ignore that little bit of damage over there as well so we're going to place him inside like so i'm going to see if he follows the statue around now it doesn't seem to want to follow it with the car attached but when i did some later tests so i'll just delete the car for the moment and we place another one they do tend to follow the statue around only for a certain amount of time though before they actually get bored so you can see how this guy is actually doing it here so it is a bit of a carrot on the stick sort of approach so let's put a few in and just see exactly what they're going to do so if they continue to follow that around that means we could use that as a possibility of lowering them but as you can see some of them are just getting distracted but the majority of the horde have continued to follow that statue around meaning that we could power something by these men themselves just running around in circles quite an interesting sort of method we'll have to move on to something else so i wanted to try to include all the ways that i tried to train my barbarians and since they weren't much smarter than hamsters i thought why not just stick them within the hamster wheel and just see what they can do now i could turn this by running around inside so i was hoping that they would be able to turn it as well so as you can see i can rotate from the outside and i can do the exact same by walking through the platform in the middle so let's place a barbarian down and use the attack order tell him to run in this direction and you can see what the problem is since he can't see me it seems that he just wants to run through the side i tried to put some vents in as well so that they could actually see me and hope that he would run through that general direction but it just seems that he gets distracted too early or, and he just wants to get out of there rather than actually try to run that hamster wheel unlike some of the original sort of designs I was messing around with. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the traps. So the first trap we're actually going to look at is a really simple sort of drop cage. Something that we've seen in my sort of pirate's cave hideout before. The idea is the person or the bandit or the barbarian in this case is going to walk through underneath the trap. We're going to drop it from him above and then we're going to capture him. But the barbarians can be quite nasty and they can even break stone walls just with a baseball bat with spikes on so i don't really hope this will contain them but the next trap will definitely do so so i'll just show you what happens here so we could either lower it down on them or we could just drop it from the hook at the top anyway i'm going to prepare a barbarian and we're going to make them run through the trap 
We've also got basically sort of um, rotary sort of belt system here so we can bring it up and down. Now I've had some problems using the reverse command on these rotors so this is why I'm placing two. For some reason it just doesn't seem to want to work for me. I don't know why. Maybe the controls or something are a little bit off but let's set up a barbarian to run through it. So our barbarian has been placed and we're going to tell him to head in our general direction wherever he may be. He's, he's, he's already got distracted. Place one there. Tell him to attack my position. Come on through the area and we want to drop the trap on him. Is he below the trap? Yes he is. Then we can just drop the trap on top of him. Ah, we've captured one. We've captured a barbarian. Now let's see if he tries to escape out of it. I'm not too sure if he will. Oh, there we go. It looks like he's been captured alive. That's just what we could want. We could take him back to our prison cells, maybe disarm him. That would be really cool in the future if we could disarm the barbarians and then just turn them into, like, peaceful workers to work on your factory or whatever. Oh, no, he's breaking out. He's breaking out. We'll have to, we'll have to go to the second trap quickly. Right, and the second trap is already down. So we need to winch this up. Now this second trap is a trap door, like you see, but we're using it in a sort of a different configuration. You see he's already broken out through this way. We'll attract his attention if we can. See if he'll want to come over here. No, I don't think he's going to want to come over here. The idea is there's a little viewing port upstairs on this trap, and we'll release one and release two. At... Oh, no, he's missed. One's got through. The other one won't make it, though. Come with me. No, Oh, they're, they're too smart. They're, they're, they're not falling for my trap door. They're just breaking all the traps. So let's place let's place another one and try to convince him to come up here. There we go. There's one in the trap. And I'll show you. Oh, he's, he's upset. He's upset. I've, I've left them a little bit of a fire down here. And we, they've got a little bit of a cave entrance. There's, there's no way out really for them in here at all. We've got a steel door. And once they're trapped down here, hopefully their energy will just run out or something. They'll either die or we can retrain them to become our, our barbarians instead. I'm really excited to see how that will actually happen. Let's see what the other guys have done up top. And the idea with this trap door is since it works like a drawbridge, you can just hook these two points up and re-bring it back up to the surface. So let's do that. Now all of this trap here is supposed to be activated through this little window. So as you can see, we can bring it up through here. Oh, come on, come on up. Why does it never, they never want to work for me, do they? Let's um, try placing something on top of that. So then it might just want to work. There we go. There we go. That's done something. Oh, and that, no, it, does, it doesn't want to work at all. Let's, let's try reversing this. Maybe that's the only way of doing it. No, no. Early access. That's what you got to expect when we're working with these traps, trying to build these complicated bits of magic. So, we've got one guy down there. The other one's trying to get in to beat his friend. Let's drop a few more down the trap. Let's actually just send a little bit of a swarm down below. See if they all go down. Boop, 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 boop. That's the, that's the easiest way of getting rid of barbarians by far. Just drop them down a hole into an area where they can't get out. Oh, it looks like we've lost a few of them as well. Oh, poor guys. And it could, they never stood a chance. Yeah, it looks like four of them just went down and died. Oh, this guy's getting smart, though. He's trying to go through the um, the knocked-off area. Oh, no, he's stuck. He's stuck. Perfect. Anyway, keep them barbarians out. You just end up with, like, a horde of barbarians stuck in one of these cave wells, just screaming underneath your castle. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I've inspired you with a few traps and possibilities to maybe train your barbarians in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.